Look at this. That is a shiny Fiesta number 16. World's fastest Fiesta. What do we got? A Chevy Lumina. That is Governor Bruce Rauner out of Springfield, Illinois in the Chevy Lumina. The Fiesta and the Lumina. Who do we want? Do we want the world's fastest Fiesta? Do you want the Lumina? Governor Bruce Rauner. Watch the starter, ladies and gentlemen. And the green's off, and there goes the Lumina. Governor Bruce Rauner out in front, but here goes the Fiesta staying down low. Looks like Mike Madigan driving the Fiesta as he pulls away from Governor Bruce Rauner. It's a political race right now. Look at that Fiesta fly! My goodness! My goodness, that thing was flying around there. Bye to Governor Bruce Rauner and the Lumina. You know what? He must have traded in that old van for that. The Ford Fiesta, the world's fastest Fiesta. Oh, now we got a couple trucks getting ready to come. The Red GMC. <laughs> and Josh Lundy in the 99 Silverado. We got the gold truck. We got the red truck. He's got deodorant in there because he knew he was going to be sitting next to somebody. You really do. You got deodorant and he's got his phone plugged in in there. Good thing you got that. Josh, you ready over there? You guys watch the starter. There he goes. Oh, listen to the red GMC. Get it. Let him eat the spectacular drags. Lundy in the gold truck on the inside. What does he have? Is he willing to go? Oh, he gets a little slide. The crowd goes crazy. Here comes Lundy, but no! Oh my goodness. Two evenly matched GMC products. The red truck moves on. So close, we're gonna do it again? We're gonna do that one again? Come on back over here, guys. Come on over. Let's hear it for him. Bring him back. That was a heck of a race. Who's rooting for the red truck? Who's rooting for the gold truck? Now Lundy's going to go on the outside. Red truck. Who wants to see one of these trucks hit the wall? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go. All right, guys, watch the starter. They got them revved up. They're power breaking them. They're ready to go. There's the green flag. Lundy fires it up. Oh, look at that GMC Lenity. Wow. Lundy in the gold truck. By the way, the red truck gets disqualified because it's got a tail light out as they slide it around. My goodness, let me get out of the way. I don't know who's dumber, those guys for racing or me for standing here. Dear God. Wow. <laughs> they said, oh, Jim, you're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> they were right. All right, we got us a Grand Cherokee. Yeah, does it, does it have dealer plates on it? If you want to take this for a test drive after tonight, feel free. They'll sell it to you. And, oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful Dodge pickup truck down on the inside. Now, who do we like, a Grand Cherokee? Blue truck. Yeah. Starter, whenever you're ready. By the way, the Cherokee has leather all over. Oh, look at that blue truck. Let it eat down the front stretch. That's all he wanted to do. Does he have what it takes to win? That Grand Cherokee out front. But I don't like the four-wheel drive going around turn three and four. I don't like it. That truck's got that low center of gravity. Out of turn four, what do we got? The Grand Cherokee. Wow. It's kind of like when Jeff Bodine used to win races. Nobody wanted him to win. He just won. That's the way it was. 
Blue truck goes away. Look at this, here comes that beautiful Jaguar. Jaguar. Is that a Dodge Dart there too? The Jaguar. Who believes Belvedere made Dodge over foreign made Jaguar? That's what I'm thinking. What? What are you thinking? Oh, that's an Uber driver. I didn't see that. The Uber driver. I hope he's not your ride home later tonight. You have the app. Get it going. You guys ready? Uber driver versus Jaguar, the green flag. Go Uber! I think the Uber driver's staying low. Jaguar way out front. Uber driver says, I got to make money. Look at that Jaguar cranking up that motor. Oh, dear God, he slides it out of turn four, the Jaguar. Okay, now who needs a ride home from that guy? Because he'll drive you home. Look, he lost tonight. He has to make some money somehow. Has to. This is spectacular. There's a reason why it has the name. It's a Saturn. A Saturn and a Buick. Saturn wanted to go on the inside. Buick says, no, I'm taking the inside. Oh, yeah, they're playing little games now. The Saturn versus a Buick. The good thing is if the Saturn wrecks, you can just pop that out because it's plastic. It's a good thing. You guys ready to go? 21 and 20. Or is that 15? 15 and 20. Watch the starter. There we go. The front wheel drive pulls out quickly. But look at the power of the Buick. Power. There goes that front wheel drive. I'm telling you, there's something to be said about having a front wheel drive around Rockford Speedway. I'm going to stand behind here. Saturn. Wow. And there goes the Buick. The Buick's going to go to the parking lot. Let's bring out a couple more. Trying to figure out names and who's driving what. That's a Pontiac right there. It's Mike Shike and Jeff Weatherspoon. In the Maxima, Jeff from Loves Park. We got the Maxima. We got the Pontiac. Who wants the Maxima? Who wants the Pontiac? Oh, yeah, they're all about the Pontiac. They remember the Kyle Petty Mellow Yellow car. That's what it's all about. All right. Watch the starter, gentlemen. Here we go. And the green's flying. Look at that Pontiac. Let it eat down the front stretch. Just getting some. Not necessarily the best thing to do, but it looks like he's got the Maxima. The Pontiac. Going high at turn four. Not enough to get him to the wall. Why do I get the feeling all you guys want to do is see somebody hit the wall in their car? Why is that? I'm telling you right now, if it were up to me, I want to see this white pickup hit the wall. I think that would be fun. <laughs> That's Jake Haven in the 05 Avalanche. It's a good looking truck for 05, buddy. Nicely done. Here comes the 92. I'll tell you what, the truck sounds good. Who wants to put money on this one? I'll take the truck. I got a dollar. Anyone? I got, I got the truck for a dollar. I know. And DJ Key in the Chevy Lumina, the 92, 
out of Wisconsin. Watch the starter. Gentlemen, here we go. And there's the great flag. That truck sounds good. But does he have what it takes? Will he put it on the line? Can you put it on the line to beat the Lumina? Will he put it on the line? Uh-oh, they're down low. Uh-oh, uh-oh, and it's going to be the Lumina. Are you kidding me? He did not have what it took. Oh, I know. Nobody bet me. I don't know. Nobody came down and shook my hand. I like this next race coming up. <laughs> Old versus new. We got us a couple Mustangs getting ready to go. Dang. Sir Squirrely. Listen, Casey Snow in the 16 Mustang. Casey, you got a little mental issue? I mean, seriously, who would put that car out there? Seriously. You got problems. We got the old versus the new. What do we think? Orange one? Green one. Watch the starter, here we go. And they're up, oh! oh! Oh, that was the whole shot. The whole shot. I think he's got a little traction control in that car. What I think. Wow. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Wow. All right, so he never put that car in danger one bit, did he? This looks like it could be a nice little ba battle coming up. I mean, I know it's not black, but it's been through all sorts of tough times. But I, I love the Smokey and the Bandit car coming up. I mean, you got a Trans Am. You got a Smokey and the Bandit, Trans Am, if you will. Even though it's not the right color, you got the Dukes of Hazard. Who's a Dukes of Hazard fan? Who's a Smokey and the Bandit fan? About the same. The Charger going to let that thing eat just a little bit. Yeah, I like them both. Look at that. This 01 of Mike Caveira, it just sounds mad. It sounds mad at the world, does this Charger. These aren't grocery getting cars right here. Jeff, you ready? Watch the starter, here we go, spectacular drag. Oh my! Oh, look at that, look at that! They're trying to get some. Oh, look at it. There comes that Trans Am out of four. Dang. When it started, it looked like the actual Burt Reynolds today was driving that car. Got off to a very slow start, but he made it happen. Wow. All right. This Camaro's been known to get around this track rather quickly. Versus this little Chevy, looks like it's been modified just a little bit. And the pickup truck, is the pickup truck winning? Camaro! Camaro's there. All right, we got it. You got that low gear ready to go. Jeff, you got your flags ready to go. Watch the starter, here we go. Oh! Kind of like the tortoise in the hair. Oh, look at the truck sliding sideways. He's drifting. Look at the Camaro. He says, I got this thing taken care of. The truck's going to drift it into the corner, slide around, come down low. Look at the Oh, geez. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do it again? We're going to do that one again. We're 
You guys want to see that one again? You want that one to go again? We can do that. We can do that. Bring it on around Camaro and truck. Come on over, guys. I got to tell you. There you go. You scared me, man. You scared me. How are you supposed to haul anything in that truck? You got nothing back there. Like I, was gonna, <laughs> I heard that, and I can't say it. Although I loved it, whoever said it. Thank you. <laughs> he hauls one thing back there. Oh, really? That's the best you got with that thing? I mean, if you're going to do it, do it. All right, Camaro, truck, starter, watch them, here we go, and they're off. Uh, the truck got a much better start that time, I thought. Oh, he's going to take that thing low. Look at the truck over the Camaro. He's sliding over to him. I would not be on the outside. They hit, they hit down the back stretch. Camaro says no, truck says slide. He's working that wheel, chopping wood, coming out of four. Left front fender, got us a little bump. That's all because of that sissy burnout he tried to do down the front stretch. The truck moves on. And we've eliminated half the field. Are you guys enjoying this so far? I'm telling you, I haven't never seen it. This is amazing. Yeah, he's got some damage on the front. There you go. Once again, the Jeep Grand Cherokee with dealer plates. This thing's up for sale. You can take it home tonight. Matter of fact, we'll work out the financing here. You've got a job. We can let you take it home. Grand Cherokee. Chevy pickup truck. Watch the starter. Here we go. I kind of like the slow starts. I kind of think it makes a little sense. Yeah, you don't want to be spinning away. Down the back stretch there, door handle the door handle. Going into three, what do we got here? There goes the Jeep up high. Truck says, I got to lock it up. Oh, wow. Wow! I like that. I like this Silverado. I thought, I thought the truck won. Truck wins. Jeep goes home. I think this is going to be a battle. The world's fastest Fiesta and the world's slowest Saturn. Let's see how this works out. That Fiesta, man, he's got that shined up looking awfully pretty. They got him lined up. We need to get a little closer. A little closer. Red Nelson in the Fiesta. What do you guys think, Fiesta? Everybody loves the Fiesta. Watch the starter. Here we go. Yeah, he spins his wheels a little at the beginning. But there goes the Fiesta. I like the front wheel drive sticking around the top of the track. He's going to pull that thing right on through. As he goes up high, the Saturn side by side. Somebody, uh-oh, here comes the Saturn. There goes, oh, the Fiesta is in the wall. Oh, no. He's in the wall. Blew the airbag in the car. Driver's okay. Wow. There for Fred Nelson.
Hello there, insurance guys. Somebody stole my car Monday. I don't know what happened to it. Wow. Let's hear it for him. No longer the fastest fiesta. Going to tow the car away. They hit the wall in turns three and four. Dang. Wow. A lot of pride at Rockford Speedway. Here we go, Mustang. Jaguar, Mustang, Jaguar. Mustang, Jaguar. All right, starter. Check him out, there he is, and they're off. They're both gonna get off to a pretty good start. That Mustang's gonna pull away. Wow, wow. That Jaguar, oh, he's up at the marbles, but no. And the Mustang. That Jaguar looked like it might catch it going down the back stretch. Looked like you might want to put it a little harder into turn three. Car number 92 versus the Silver Pontiac. Silver Pontiac versus the Chevrolet. Silver car, green car. I like the evenly matched cars right here. I think this is gonna be a great race. Might not be the fastest race, but it's gonna be a great race to see who can reach mediocrity. That's it. You ready? Starter, you ready to go? There they go. Oh, they're into each other. They're into each other before they even get to turn one. Oh, I would like to hear the race director on that one. Race director. Oh, he'd have been yelling. Uh-oh. I think we're dead down there in turn. He's going to go backwards around the track. Heck, yeah. Here comes the Pontiac. They got into each other right away. I think, I think that they should both have to race each other backwards now. That's what I think they should have to do. You like that? Uh-oh, they're in the figure eight. I don't know, are we gonna make them race backwards? Yeah, they're, they're gonna race backwards, we're gonna see. Are they up to it? Are they up to it? To get out here to begin with is stupid. They're fighting. What do we got going on out there? I think one of them might have been texting while they were driving. Are we going to race them backwards? Yeah. Yeah. What the heck was it? I mean, I just didn't like the fact that they, that they didn't get that. They didn't even make it to turn one. What the heck happened? There's some big dents in that green car. I like racing backwards. Here we go. Now, I know that door got dinged pretty good. We're going to race them backwards one more time. I mean, last one wasn't even a race. Let's go. What? Oh, yeah. Starter's up there. Starter's up there, guys. Are you ready? 
Watch for the green flag. Oh, they're off there reversing. They're going backwards. They're going backwards. You know it. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, here comes the green car. Oh, who's got what it takes to go backwards? I'm going to hide. I'm hiding as they come out of third floor. Oh, oh, that is a dead heat. That is a dead heat. That is unbelievable. Give it up for those guys. That was impressive. Oh, my goodness. We got a wall hit. What? Who thinks the green car won? Who thinks the silver car won? Wow. That is a great racing job. It was impressive. Give it up for those guys one more time. That was amazing. Silver car wins. Green car spins. All for the big red trophy. That's what we do. Great job. Tough act to follow. How many different colors he got on that Trans Am? I see black, blue, brown, rust, red. How many is that? But it is all leather interior, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, versus the truck. And he, he's got a Ford shirt on. Starter, are you ready? Watch the starter. Here we go. Truck. Trans Am. They're sliding down the front stretch. Truck's already showing he's not afraid to put that inside. He's not afraid to put it into some metal. He'll bet some metal. Camaro, truck. Truck's going to lose it on the inside. That thing's going to come out slide. Oh! That was some racing right there. The truck wins right there. That was a fantastic race. A Saturn front-wheel drive versus a Chevy 1500. Do we got a truck fans? Who's our truck fans? Who's our Saturn fans? Who really just doesn't care right now? Yeah, there's one. <laughs> All right, we're down to the final four. Truck, Saturn, starter. There you go. The Saturn takes off. Saturn trucks looking to go down on the inside. Spectacular drags. And look at that Saturn pull away. That's nice. That's really nice. I think I'm going to be a really big fan of this next race coming up. Are you guys ready for this one? For a spot in the finals to win the coveted red trophy. It is 2016 Mustang. Versus Saturn? I don't know what happened to the truck. He's disqualified? I don't know. What about Orange Mustang? What about Saturn? Big Red Trophy up for grabs. That thing just sounds mad. It sounds angry at the world. Sounds like an 18-year-old teenage boy who's been grounded from his cell phone. Just mad at the world. Saturn's up with the marbles. He tried to catch up, gave it everything he had. A Mustang brings it home.
But what do we got? Two out of three between the Mustang and the truck. Oh my, oh my. Mustang and truck, two out of three for the big red trophy and the pride of saying I was a winner at Rockford Speedway on fireworks extravaganza night on midnight ride of Paul Revere. Mustang fans, Mustang fans. Truck fans, let me hear you from the truck fans. Yeah. Starter, are you ready? It's the best two out of three. Here we go. Dang. Look at that truck. Look at that truck going down the back stretch. Are you kidding me? Are they going to put it in there? There, there they come. It's a truck! He's willing to take the chances with that truck. Now they're going to go the other way. They're going to go the other way. They're going to hit turn four first. How many Chevy fans do we have in the house? How many Ford fans do we have in the house? They're lined up. I'm telling you, if I was in that Mustang, I would not want to be on the outside of that truck. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Here we go, starter. And they're up. There goes that Mustang out to a big lead, but he did before, too. That truck has some power down the back stretch. There goes the Mustang pulling away. I'll tell you what, that truck made a race of it. They're going to flip it around. It's one to one. It's best two out of three. Winner takes it all. Takes home the big red trophy. Can we at least put a sticker on the window of their car too? Come on. Just say they were a winner at Rockford Speedway. They're lined up. Let's hear it for them when we get ready to go. Give it up for these guys. They've been working hard. Give them a good send off. Make some noise. Spectacular drags, finals, starter. And they're off. They both just sound mad. Look at the truck. Look at the Mustang. They're going for it. Look at the, who's willing to put it in the three? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Truck! Ow! Oh! 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 oh. Oh, did that just happen? Did I just see what I think I saw? Did that just happen? Oh. Oh. Wow. Spectacular Drags 2017 winner, Al Roberts. At the risk of being offended, I'm sorry, I said he doesn't have anything in the back of this truck. He can't haul anything. Somebody in the crowd said, he's hauling ass. Congratulations, talk about that. What the heck happened out there? I lost my bet on the way down. 
Well, what bet? Oh, you lost your bet. What? Uh, uh, let's talk about the racing tonight. Tell me what that was all about. And uh, you guys got together there at the uh, end. Yeah, I I felt really bad about you know getting into Charlie. He's a good friend of mine. Came down to race him. Um, didn't turn out real good. I apologize. That's not the way I race. Did you have fun? I had a great time, and what a great audience. Did you guys have fun tonight? Spectacular Graves winner, 2017. He's got himself a big red trophy and a flag. Can we at least put a sticker on his car? We don't have a sticker. Congratulations. He's got the big one.